neurotransmitters, types, classification, and functions. In today's video, we'll explore neurotransmitters, their types, classifications, and functions. I'll be breaking them down for easier understanding and providing helpful mnemonics and analogies. What are neurotransmitters? Neurotransmitters are chemicals that allow neurons, your brain cells, to communicate with each other. Think of them as email messages sent between neurons, carrying instructions about everything from mood to movement. Types of neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are broadly divided into two types based on their effects, excitatory and inhibitory. Excitatory neurotransmitters. Excitatory neurotransmitters are like the gas pedal in a car. They increase the likelihood of a signal being sent to the next neuron. An example is glutamate, the brain's most common excitatory neurotransmitter, which plays a crucial role in learning and memory. Imagine excitatory neurotransmitters as cheerleaders encouraging neurons to pass on the message. Inhibitory neurotransmitters. Inhibitory neurotransmitters, on the other hand, are like the brakes in a car. They reduce the likelihood of a signal being passed along. Gamma aminobutyric acid, GABA, is a key inhibitory neurotransmitter that helps calm the brain and prevent overstimulation. Mnemonic for GABA. GABA equals go and be at peace as it helps calm the nervous system. Classification of neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters can be classified based on their chemical structure into six major categories, namely amino acids, bonoamines, peptides, purines, acetylcholine, and gasotransmitters. Let's break them down. Amino acids. Amino acid neurotransmitters include glutamate, GABA, and glycin. These are essential for basic brain functions like learning, memory, and maintaining balance in neuronal activity. To remember amino acids, remember G3, glutamate, GABA, glycin, like the three pillars of brain function, monoamines. Monoamines are derived from amino acids and regulate mood, emotion, and attention. Examples are dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. Dopamine is your brain's reward system, serotonin is the mood stabilizer, and norepinephrine is the fight or flight responder. Mnemonic for monoamines. Dopamine sends no excuses. D for dopamine, S for serotonin, N for norepinephrine, and E for epinephrine. Next, peptides. Peptides are small proteins that act as neurotransmitters. An example is endorphins, which are your brain's natural painkillers. Think of endorphins as the body's version of morphine, helping you feel good and reducing pain. Next, purines. Purines, such as adenosine, are less well-known but important in regulating sleep and arousal. Adenosine, for instance, is what caffeine blocks to keep you awake. Mnemonic for adenosine. Adenosine adds sleep. Acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is unique because it's involved in both the central and peripheral nervous systems. It's essential for muscle contraction and learning. Think of acetylcholine as the switch that turns on both your muscles and your memory. Gasotransmitters. These are gases like nitric oxide that act as neurotransmitters. They diffuse freely across membranes and play roles in vasodilation and memory. Functions of neurotransmitters. Each neurotransmitter has specific functions. Let's highlight a few important ones. 1. Dopamine, the reward messenger. Dopamine regulates pleasure, motivation, and movement. Low levels are linked to conditions like Parkinson's disease. Dopamine is like a gold star sticker for your brain when you achieve something. 2. Serotonin, the mood stabilizer. Serotonin influences mood, appetite, and sleep. It's often called the happiness chemical. 3. GABA, the calming agent. GABA reduces anxiety and helps you relax. Medications like benzodiazepines work by enhancing GABA's effects. 4. Acetylcholine, the muscle activator. Acetylcholine controls voluntary muscle movements and memory. It's affected in diseases like Alzheimer's. Understanding neurotransmitters helps us grasp how mental health disorders, neurodegenerative diseases, and even simple emotions arise. 
For example, depression is linked to low serotonin levels, while ADHD is often associated with dopamine dysregulation. To summarize, neurotransmitters are divided into excitatory and inhibitory types and can be classified into amino acids, monoamines, peptides, purines, acetylcholine, and gasotransmitters. Remember our mnemonics. G3 for amino acids, glutamate, GABA, glycin. Dopamine sends no excuses for monoamines. Adenosine adds sleep for purines. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more educational content. See you in the next video.